What is going on YouTube? It's Huncho here back with another video. I'm going to keep this intro short. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Today's going to be a little bit different than normal. Um, no PC optimization. I'm going to focus on helping you guys turn your room into a gaming room. But I'm going to focus on three things. Where to buy from to get the best deal. When to buy, when to wait. Some different varieties of options to get the same result because not everyone can have LED lights on their ceiling without their mom yelling at them. So most of the things I'm going to be showing you today are going to be found on Amazon, but I want to go over this account first. Fat Kid Deals on Twitter. They also have a website, I'm pretty sure, but they'll post different things every day, like different deals, and sometimes they'll be completely pointless to you, but then other times, like the other day they posted um, LED lights, and they were it was like 65 feet, and it was really cheap. See LED strips, 50% off, 65 feet for $27. So boom, right there, that's your first thing. I know everyone always wants the best brand when you're going for like LED lights or something. You're like, well, I want it to last a long time. I don't want it to break. Well, if you're just someone that's rolling in money, this video is not going to be for you because I'm going to be focusing on like cheaper options and ways that you can get everything you want in your room without breaking your wallet. The key on Amazon when you're searching for something is to be specific. So you could type in LED lights for gaming and don't ever click on just the first one you see because there's going to be so many that you'll find so you're going to want to find the best deal as well as what you're looking for whether it's the Amazon Prime shipping you want to change the colors from your phone you want it to hook up to your Google Home these are all things that you could either type in the search bar or just make sure the product that you buy has it now for the people that can't have LED lights on their ceiling or on their walls or wherever they wanted to put it, I actually got these to put on my floor, but they would actually work very well to light up walls. So if you type in floodlights for your gaming room, I'm just going to click on this one. Mine were like $25, but just so I can show you what they do. It's like when you see outside and someone lights up their tree or lights up the post like that. Well in a small bedroom. It actually works really well to light up the wall or light up your floor. But you have, if you're going to put it on your floor, you have to have it in a spot where it's going to kind of be like two feet off the ground so it can shine because if you have it level with the floor, it's not going to look as great. So now for the people that have a Google Home, I have the V-Sync e Texity and you can hook it up to like Alexa or Google Home and it's going to, you could either turn it off like from the, the Google Home app on your phone or like say, hey Google, turn on my lights and it'll turn on the lights for you. Another cool feature is being able to tell Google to change the color of your lights without actually having to go onto your phone and changing it. If you go for more of an adult version of these, the price gets a lot higher. But the one that I went with was this L-Bell one. It goes to the beat of the music and it actually follows it very well. So it'll like flash on your ceiling, almost like a club scene. So now that we're past the lighting, I want to talk about gaming desks, if it's something that you're looking at getting. If you go on Amazon and look for a gaming desk, you're going to be paying so much money. Always. They'll all be over $100, and they're not that much different than a desk from Ikea, where you can get more surface area, but only pay half the price. If you have pets in your house, and they're always going at your cords, I highly recommend getting these. If you just type in cord protector on Amazon, you can cut it to the length of each cord and you kind of just like fit it into the slit. And it works really nice because even if they still chew on it, they don't actually go through the plastic so your cord is fine. So if you're looking for something small to put on your desk, I highly recommend looking at like action figures or like whatever theme you like. So if it's like Superman, Batman, anime, just Fortnite, um, getting like you could type in Fortnite, llama spelled it wrong you can get like this small little llama and put it on your desk i bought a bought this batman light it's going to be something that's unique to your room that's going to make you more comfortable and you might already have things like this and they're kind of just laying around your room but because your room's a mess you have no idea that it would actually look cool when you have all your led lights going so if you are someone that has a bunch of stuff and you don't have shelves in your room an easy way is floating shelves on the wall and if you don't want to mount it into your wall with like screws or anything you can get one that is more 
hidden on the sides where it has more surface area and you can use command strips on them and just put the sticky side onto the wall and then onto the shelf itself and you can find a lot of these for pretty cheap and you can put a little uh like trophies on it or something like that that you have in your room that are laying around anything that's going to clear up the clutter in your room is going to make your setup look so much nicer even if it's just very simple with like two led lights one thing i want to mention is that building a gaming room is a work in progress and you'll think of different things you want to do over the course of months and you don't want to like jump at it and buy all everything right away that you think you want because there might be something else that you wanted instead of this product but now you don't have the money for it so just take it slow get one thing at a time and like build your room and enjoy the process that goes along with it one thing that really brings a room together is not having plain walls so if you just have like plain white walls with nothing on them look into something that you're interested in whether it's like superheroes and you can type in superhero posters Don't look at the sponsored ones though, and immediately filter, sort by price low to high, and you'll find different things that are very cheap and you'll be like, wow, I actually really want that. If you have cords everywhere in your room, it's really easy just to buy zip ties. They're very cheap. Make sure you get ones that are long enough, like the 12 inch ones, not the four inch ones, because you can always cut off the excess. But if you get something that's too small to wrap around, like a post or something it's not going to help hide your cords you can also get like your favorite team's flags and put them in your room like even a saturdays for the boys you could do you could do college flags there's a wide variety of things that you can put on your wall for pretty cheap you can either hang them up with command strips or just tape depending on how heavy it is i always see people buy big speakers for their rooms but I never recommend to get speakers that look like this. Always go for a portable speaker. Because not only can you leave it in your room and just charge it that whole time, but you can also bring it with you wherever you want. And remember, the more expensive something is now, keep that on the list and wait until Amazon Prime Day, wait until Black Friday, that's coming up pretty soon and get the more expensive things when they're on sale and get the cheaper things now. That's all for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. If you want to see something in the future like this again, but maybe more specific towards like gaming desk items, as in like monitor stands, cameras, things along those lines, let me know in the comments down below and I can do a video like that as well. Otherwise, stay tuned for more PC optimizations and Fortnite content videos. Thanks for watching. Peace out.